Yeah, straight A student, but I'm friends with the cool kids. Ooh. Confident, but I ain't too conceited. Nah. Earn my stripes like I'm saving up for new Adidas. Yeah. yeah. Lyrically, tell me who the meanest. How to feed and prove we ain't even. I ain't Louis Stevens. Shout out Shia LaBeouf. Transforming. Yeah, I went from Shia to Buff. Watching the wheels go round and round. Watching the wheels go round and round. Watching the wheels go round and round. It's a very special day on the train. Watching the steam rise high, whoosh! Watching the steam rise high, whoosh! Watching the steam rise high, whoosh! It's a very special day on the train. Blowing the whistle loud, woo! Blowing the whistle loud, woo! Blowing the whistle loud, woo! It's a very special day on the train. It's a very special day, a very special day on the train. A very special day on the train, woo! Yes, Thomas and Friends The Big Life Tour. From watching Talking Trains on TV for many years, we actually get to watch some of your favorite steamy characters in action. Starting with Thomas the Tank Engine, James the Red Engine, Percy the Small Engine, and more of your Sodor friends on the way. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to be taking more of your time. Today, we're going to be talking about the history of Thomas and Friends The Big Life Tour. So hopefully, you guys will enjoy today's video, and without further ado, let's get started. Thomas and Friends The Big Life Tour and The All Aboard Life Tour were two arena stage shows in the UK produced by DC Entertainment and Tall Tales Production in 2002. The tour has been repeated witnessed the next four years and also toured Japan by Fuji Television in the 16th of July to the 31st of August 2005. The writers and directors were Lane Lachlan and Will Breton. The producers who joined into this project was DC Entertainment, Tall Tales Productions, Hit Entertainment, and Fuji Television from Japan. The composers, we already know who they are, Michael Donnell and Junior Campbell, along with Barry Bignold. The narrator is Ray Burnside, and the runtime, which is the whole show in general, is 90 minutes each story. So basically it's like an hour with 30 minutes. It's not bad. From the Big Life Tour, the dates were released the first one on the 26th of December 2002 and ended on the 6th of April 2003. Along with that, there is the 27th of March and ended on the 16th of May 2004. Redo it back on the 29th of July and ended on the 20th of August 2006. This was located in the UK. Okay, so I just had to pause the video right here. You know, you know what's very interesting? The Queen met Thomas. Don't believe me? Wash his shit. Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, fantastic. It's so nice to have all these trolls down there. Really, I think they're very good. No, don't be. It's such a good thing. It's 60 years old. Where does it go? Well, we have it on a tour all around. Yeah. And it's going to go on to the first, first out of the TV show. I think so this is the one that goes around the rest of the tour. And we do about a million people come to see that. We have an argument. This is my daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Done. Say what you got to say. Come on. I know. I'm jealous too. Like, I, I can't say to a dead person, so rest in peace, queen. Am I jealous that I haven't met the queen? <laughs> Am I jealous that I haven't met Thomas in person? <laughs> Am I jealous that I don't have that Thomas as my personal collection? <laughs> I better calm down. It's like seven in the morning, so, and my mom's sleeping, so. Back to the video. The last location was in Japan, and looks like they had a commercial as well. We have the 16th of July to the 31st of August back in 2005. Now, let's see how the engines were made. 
Thomas, Percy, James, and Gordon are all made from cipher glass. Thomas and Percy both have the same chassis. I didn't realize about it till I noticed it. The coolest thing about the engine's chassis is that it has a smoke generator that actually let them blow steam. There's actually two footage of Thomas being tested from the wheels to face expressions and then there was also another video where they were parking him. And now we're going to watch some more pictures on how Thomas was fully made. Now I know a lot of you guys are curious about Jack. Jack the front loader was also made as part of the Big Life Tour. He was also driven. One of the crew members had to drive him around the stage. That was pretty cool. Now let's talk about how the inches got the faces. So the first thing they do is sculpture it, then they will mold it after doing all of that process. They will put it on top of the animatronic where basically the eyes move, the eyebrows, the mouth, and once all of that is completed, you ready got your faces for the models. Every model, such as Thomas, Percy, and James, they all have control panels, such as the face control, the smoke unit, the drive where it goes forward and backwards and you get the emergency stop in case something happens. Another thing that I realized is Annie and Clarabelle are both made out of wood and they both share the same chassis including the troublesome trucks when Thomas has to take a load. Now let's talk about Gordon. The reason why Gordon is incomplete is because he is too long in order for him to like go to curves and stuff. So he would only appear when he is out of the shed or when he is mentioned. And as you can see, he's just a cart. So it takes two people to push him though in order for him to appear. At least Gordon has an expressions, he built up smokes and he could talk. That's a good thing. Now let's talk about James. My goodness. Wow. What a model. I would have to say, I guess everybody's favorite model would have to be James. I don't know, something about his model just looks so damn good, like god damn. James's model hold the record of being the most largest character in the show. For example, his height is actually 264.3 centimeters high, 149.6 centimeters wide, and 652 centimeters long. Like I said, James broke that record. For those that are curious on what his chassis looked like, this is the chassis that he normally used, both engine and tender. And now, let's see how the engines are doing today, present on their condition.
couple years later passed and then one of these guys put some of the items to sell on ebay for like oh my god five grand god damn the items that they were selling was percy one of the coaches and james but not the tender the company that bought these items is called Waste Tire Collections and up to this very day, they're still there. Since the day that they were bought, there's no updates saying that they are getting an update. It's like saying, why buy something knowing that you're not gonna work on it? It's like a waste of time. It would be a shame for these engines to take sunshine, rain, let them rot as the paint drips. That's that's really a shame. Also, for those that didn't know, Thomas's whole body was scrapped. There is no pictures, but whatever remains left, that's all there is. And I hope that one day, these engines, whatever is left, they get proper treatment. Let's hope in the rare future, something would happen. And so ladies and gentlemen, we have reached to our conclusion of our new video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. If there was something that I didn't mention in this part of the video, just let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, and do not forget to hit my notifications on so you guys won't miss every single update on these videos that I upload. Guys, we are almost to 1000 subscribers, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more future videos like this. Anyways, I'm going to bed, it's the next day. I just got off from work like a couple hours ago around 4 a.m. It's almost 8 a.m. and I haven't slept. So anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching and as always, I will see you on my creation family in the next video. Bye everyone, take care and God bless you.